RFI, 23rd of April 2023, France, Japan, and India work to free Sri Lanka from its Chinese debt trap. The devastated economy of Sri Lanka has been saved by a coalition led by France, India, and Japan, who have also extended an invitation to others. The situation is attributed to the island's leaders' careless expenditure of money they borrowed from China. France encouraged creditors to guarantee transparency when negotiating the restructuring of Sri Lanka's crippling debt during the introduction of the rescue plan last week. Sri Lanka's crippling debt had interrupted imports of vital fuel, food, and medication supplies and provoked political unrest. Other creditors are welcome to join this creditor committee if they like. According to Director General Treasury France Emmanuel Moulin, we will continue coordinating with them to ensure equal treatment. To ensure transparency and comparability of treatment based on their financial promises and IMF guidelines, the creditors should maintain the momentum and begin the restructuring process in a coordinated manner, the official continued. A 2.6 billion euro program was approved last month by the International Monetary Fund to assist Sri Lanka in overcoming its worst economic crisis in more than seven decades. Other creditors are pounding on the doors of the island government, which is in debt. India continued, we think such collaboration is crucial to guarantee transparency and equal treatment of all creditors in the debt restructuring discussions. Niramala C. Charman, the Minister of Finance. Sri Lanka is being killed by crippling Chinese debt. The three-nation group will immediately begin the negotiations. This year, the Colombo authorities started negotiations to help Sri Lanka's debt issue. By May, the government wants to have a settlement in place. Sri Lanka owes bilateral creditors 6.4 billion euros. China is its biggest single lender, with 10% of the island's total foreign debt. Official records show that Colombo also owes about 1 billion euros to India and 1.8 billion euros to the 22-nation Paris Club. 1.8 billion euros in other commercial loans and over 10.9 billion euros in eurobond debt with foreign private creditors also need to be renegotiated, according to the Reuters news agency. The idea put up by France and the two Asian countries, according to Japan's finance minister Shunichi Suzuki, will persuade other creditors to talk about Sri Lanka's crippling debt. Suzuki told reporters outside a meeting of the G20's finance ministers, it will be very nice if China will join, as Beijing pledged to develop a medium and long-term rescue strategy to assist the island nation's 22 million citizens in regaining economic stability. Sleeping Dragon Eating Food from Sri Lanka China has promised to prolong the maturity of Sri Lanka's debts that are due in 2022 and 2023, according to statements made by Wang Wenbin, a spokesman for the Chinese Foreign Ministry. According to several experts, Beijing should have been the first to offer assistance rather than France, Japan, or India. They have a strong skepticism against the Chinese pledge. In the past, Chinese projects and actions have been motivated by personal gain. In response to media claims that China was delaying, Indian economist Sherrod Kohli claimed that China was not aiding Sri Lanka merely to assist. The Harvard-educated Kohli stated, Sri Lanka will now know who its real friends are, and cautioned that France, Japan, and India risk entering a minefield of difficulties when negotiating with bilateral creditors of Sri Lanka, such as China. Delhi is wary of Chinese bad intentions. As a string of pearls intended to encircle and choke India's strategic interests in the area, Delhi views Chinese-funded projects in Southeast Asia with distrust. India, which in 1962 engaged in a brief but devastating border war with China over a territorial dispute that is still unresolved, considers Colombo's financial burden to be yet another tactical difficulty for India.